Tis the sea world to be jolly. Let's go to the park! Fa la 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 la, let's go to the park. Because all of the howling and oh screaming has subsided in the park for now. It'll be back in another 10, 11 months because that was just too much fun to not do again. And all the monsters and mazes have been replaced by Christmas trees and holiday festivities. Like Rudolph's Christmas Town and Santa's Circus, which is a holiday version of the Vampire Circus, which is a Halloween version of Cirque du Soleil, which is a fancy version of regular circuses, which are fancy versions of, hey, look what I can do. And who doesn't like looking at what people can do? People do some pretty amazing stuff, but none of that's happening right at the moment. So let's go check out Rudolph's Christmas Town. I see some of the reindeer are practicing their flying skills in preparation for next month. And some of the non-misfit toys are just hanging out. They don't belong to anybody just yet. And there's Rudolph and uh, Hermie, that dentist elf, and Yukon Cornelius for some reason likes to lick the pickaxe after he sticks it in the snow. I don't know, that just seems unsanitary. And there's the big man himself, though not so big. Looks like he lost some weight. He's right behind me, isn't he? I guess all the monsters haven't left the park. Now, as we all well know, presents are a big part of every Christmas. Retailers count on that fact. But for those of us who aren't in the business of buying and selling, it's more about the giving and receiving than the profit margin. And speaking of giving and receiving, SeaWorld's got a special gift for the past members again this year. So we're gonna head on in to the Arctic Trading Post and pick that up. And there it is, wrapped up all nice and purdy like Let's open her up and see what's inside. Ooh. It's a beluga whale Christmas ornament. How cool is that? And uh, it's made out of glass, not plastic. Very fancy. Thanks SeaWorld for everything that you do. Now, in addition to all the festivities and decorations and entertainment this holiday season, SeaWorld's also got some festive food and drink options available. Some of them just aren't available right at the moment. And they're selling Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and other holiday merchandise inside the Holly Jolly Marketplace. That shop was a lot freakier a month ago. Oh, it looks like Turtle Reef, I mean Reef, is closed for improvements. When all the improvements are done, those turtles should have a really big pizza party. Wait a minute. Hidden Mickey? Nah. You know, I must say, that's the most festive shipwreck I've ever seen. And speaking of shipwrecks, Shipwreck Rapids is closed today for annual maintenance. And to do that maintenance, they have to drain all of the water from the ride. And with all of the water draining the attraction, you can see some things that you normally can't see. Like rays and hammerhead sharks that look like they got flattened in some kind of Looney Tunes cartoon. I have no idea. Look by looking at their belly. 
If they have three lines, it is a, a female. Those two lines on the side are their mammary slits. A male, since they don't nurse their young, has just uh, the one genital line. So there are different ways you can tell them apart. I'll set cascade on a bow this direction. Sorry, Kolohe on a bow. Let's see. I'm going to say Kolohe and bow. So they're going to jump. Let's see if you can see a marking on Kolohe that identifies her. She has a white marking on the side of her. Kolohe actually um, was a dolphin that was in the Navy. Um, we have some dolphins off our coast that work with the Navy. But she's been with us for a very long time. Okay, we're just uh, feeding out here. We've got about half a bane for these two. Oh, check it out. The scaffolding is gone from around the sky tower. Maybe it'll be open soon. And some of the light strands that make up the giant Christmas tree around the sky tower have been strung, but not all of them. But you know, it's still only mid-November, so it's all good. All right, it's time for some sky ride loving on our favorite gondola. Once again, that was the mind massage I was looking for. If you've never ridden the Bayside Skyride, it's incredibly relaxing and peaceful and quiet up there. And it's built by the best in the business, good old Von Roll. Did you know they built the one that used to be at Disneyland that went through the Matterhorn? Yeah, same company. All right, I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. And since there's no holiday food available right now, we're gonna go with an old standby. Yep, we're gonna get something from the Shipwreck Reef Cafe. All right, today we're going for the bacon cheeseburger with some waffle fries and look who decided to join us. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Heron Knight. Welcome to the show, sir. You still can't have any of my food. It's for people. <laughs> no, just people. The burger is destroyed. Tasty. 
as always. All right, let's head into Shark Encounter for a little bit, because nothing screams Christmas like sharks. I found Nemo and Nemo, but I don't think there's any more than that. So this is the shark nursery, and there's all kinds of other little fish in here too, but there's also some kind of eel or something. You know, no Christmas season is complete without a few holiday specials. And Clyde and Seymour and Opie Otter have one of their own. Let's go check it out. Well, what's this? Oh, it's a San Diego postcard. And it's from Opie Otter. <laughs> Dear Biff, I am out of town on vacation with my in-laws. Opie's married? Unfortunately, I won't be back until after New Year's Day. I'm sorry, I have to miss the gift exchange. Oh, no, 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 no. Your friend, Opie Otter. Hey, Clyde, get out the big 
spoon. I'm gonna eat a whole pint of sushi roll ice cream. Who's ready for some holiday hors d'oeuvres? Did somebody say hors d'oeuvres? Erin Clyde, thanks for joining us. Gee, smells delicious. Oh. Clyde, come on, it's gonna be great. I made your favorite, cold dead fish. All right, oh, Seymour, my friend, so nice of you to join us. Here we go. One for you, one for you, two for you. Oh. Okay, what? Clyde, you didn't steal that fish? No, of course not. My buddy Clyde would never steal fish from me, ever, ever. I would just start over. Here we go. One for you, one for you, two for you. What we do to sea lions who still fish from us? Very nice, Seymour. Merry Christmas. Excellent manners as always. Now, folks, I would never ever spank my best friend Clyde. Of course not. But I would choke him. Just kidding. I just touched him lightly on the neck. Like this. Works with either hand. Works with two hands. Where's the thing? Oh. Okay. Even no hands. Oh. Okay, Clyde, buddy. You are just too much. <laughs> and now for our world famous dessert, fruit cake. Yes, fruit cake. Oh, oh. Well, that's for us, right? Well, that's more like it. The garland is hung. There's a chill in the air. The lights are on the tree. My credit card score is maxed out to no repair. It really is starting to feel like Christmas time, isn't it? I almost forgot. Here to sing the 12 days of Christmas, everybody give a warm Christmas welcome to the one, the only, Frosty the Snowman! Frosty the Snow... Oh, you know what? I actually forgot to give Frosty his magical hat. One second. Hey, Frosty, you better not be eating up my ice cream. Oh. A trend? I don't see it. Hey, uh, dear Biff, it's hard to believe that Christmas is almost here. I'm having a great time visiting some friends in Florida. I hope you have been, been behaving yourself because you know Santa's always watching. Your pal, O.P. Otter. Wow, this sounds like he's having a great time. And so is that seagull and so am I. Come on, Seymour. It's me, Biff. Of course I'll take care of the present for you. I'll just take it and put it right underneath the Christmas tree, right where it belongs. Uh-oh. Uh, this does not look good. Ooh. Uh... <laughs> this will be our little secret, okay? Nobody will ever have to know. something super duper special. Uh, you mean the big red one that had fragile written all over it? Uh-huh. Yeah, it got lost in the mail. Maybe next year, you know? Hey, but uh, I got an idea to give him my gift. It's Biff Cologne. Yeah. <laughs> Smells like cleaning supplies and turkey legs. Here you go, buddy. Oh. Hey. Wow, he well, really loves it. That's okay, Clyde's already irresistible as it is. That hey, is what true. about me? Don't I get a gift? Oh, of course we got you a gift, Ben. All right, but it's a big surprise. So come on and stand right over there, ship dude. Perfect. Oh, okay. okay. Yep, yep. Face the audience and close your eyes right and wear the surprise. Okay, yeah. I can't wait. I love it. Oh. Looks like we ended a trip in Tampa. 
Tampa Bay? Who's he, who's he think he is, Tom Brady? Tampa. I know I couldn't be there in person for the holidays this year, but I hope these postcards have cheered you up and making spirits bright. No matter the distance, I'll always be home for Christmas, if only in your heart. Aw, you're a pal, Opie Otter. P.S. I was the one who helped set up Clyde to see more pick out the Christmas gift for you. Of course, only he can come up with such otter nonsense. <laughs> you know what, I better get his gift ready for next year. It's now New Year's Eve, we have our giant crystal ball. It's time to cut out the old and bring in the new. Ready everyone? Five, four, three, two, show is always such a good time. Seymour and Clyde, a couple of kooky characters. And speaking of kooky, off to the left side of the stage, I noticed they had a sign that listed all of the different pinniped shows that they've had over the years. And the one that caught my eye was the spooky kooky castle. That's the one I remember from when I was a kid. Memories. You know, Christmas lights are one of the most festive and decorative elements of the holiday season. And since that big Christmas light in the sky has gone down and it's dark out now, we can check out SeaWorld's displays. In the words of Matt Stone and Trey Parker, what we need is a montage. with that little montage, it's time for me to head on home. The park is uh, actually closed right now. So uh, thank you so much for joining me for a little visit to SeaWorld's holiday celebration. Till next time, see you later. Hey, check it out. SeaWorld's opening up an underwater cantina. I wonder if it's actually gonna be underwater. Cause this artist's rendering looks rather above ground to me. Or maybe that aquarium is the underwater part. Pretty cool looking. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hmm. I found Nemo. Hi, peeps. Up, 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 up. Okay, see you later.
Hey, quiet.